Washington's Reagan Airport should be bustling at this time of year, but this is a Thanksgiving holiday like no other. Please also wash your hands frequently and practice social distancing. Even though COVID-19 cases are soaring in the US, millions are defying advice from the Centers for Disease Control to avoid traveling. I do feel guilty and I feel like maybe it's 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 going to come to an end. I've been in quarantine since March. I've been following all the guidelines, but um, we just want to be with family at this point and still respecting the CDC guidelines, the six feet, the mask. Um, again, it's not not listening to them, but at the same time, um, we have our needs too. But if there are ethical dilemmas for passengers, airlines are under huge pressure to keep flying after furloughing tens of thousands of staff and requiring a government bailout just to stay in business. And even though it's recovered somewhat since then, it's astonishing how little air traffic there is at what is normally a busy airport. So airlines are counting on this Thanksgiving period to try to stem some of those enormous losses. Some airlines have increased flights to cater for the largest number of passengers since the pandemic began to sweep the US, bringing some relief to Washington's airport authority, whose revenue sank nearly 40% in the first nine months of the year. Passenger activity drives revenue. So if you look around and you don't see the same type of passenger activity that you normally would see, you can expect revenue to follow suit. And the airline industry regulator warns that even a bump in revenues and the prospect of mass vaccinations may be too late to prevent some carriers from bankruptcy. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.